thank you for your interest in the 11th edition of the Sullivan Precalculus series. Author Michael Sullivan spent 35 years teaching at Chicago State University. While teaching calculus, he was frustrated by the level of preparedness of incoming calculus students. This frustration led to a vision, a vision of a better precalculus textbook. He knew students could be more successful in math, and over the years, he's proved it with one of the best-selling precalculus franchises. The hallmark of the Sullivan Precalculus franchise is rooted in a simple philosophy, prepare, practice, review. Sullivan creates a continuous cycle of preparation and retention that runs through his texts, which leads to student success in their current course and their future mathematic courses, all while keeping the student at the center of learning. Sullivan's continuous cycle of preparation and retention can be demonstrated in a couple hallmark features. Every section opens with preparing for the section. This lists the previously learned concepts that will be useful in the section ahead and includes page references for easy review. It allows students to be able to get quickly up to speed on a concept they may have forgotten. It also prompts students to work. Are you prepared exercises to solidify the preparedness for the upcoming material? A huge strength of the Sullivan text is the extensive exercise sets with a variety of types of exercises and progression of rigor. One key type of exercises are the retain your knowledge problems that improve student recall of concepts that are learned earlier in the course. And new for the 11th edition are an additional four to six questions per section with an emphasis on content that students will encounter in the next section. Preparation and retention is at the root of the Sullivan pedagogical framework. For the 11th edition, Sullivan has made some exciting updates. Integrated Review MyLab Math courses will now be available with all Sullivan 11th edition titles. Integrated Review allows students to get up to speed on prerequisite material effectively and efficiently. A new enhancement to the 11th edition Integrated Review courses includes review worksheets and videos incorporated into the learning aids in the personalized homework, right where the students need them. The guided lecture notes are also updated. In this note-taking guide, students complete definitions, procedures, and work examples based on the content in the Author in Action videos. The Author in Action videos are actual lecture videos filmed by Mike Sullivan's son, Michael Sullivan III, in the classroom. Michael Sullivan III is an innovator in teaching with technology. By directing students into essential material, students can focus and retain the most important concepts, increasing the success of students in any course structure. Classroom activities are also included in the guided lecture notes. Another exciting update to the 11th edition series are new guided visualizations powered by GeoGebra and created by Michael Sullivan III. These interactive visuals help their students visualize, conceptualize, and understand difficult concepts. They are also assignable with assessment questions to check students' conceptual understanding. However, don't take it from me. Let's have a conversation with Mike about how these visualizations will enhance student learning. Well, I mean, there's so many that are so flipping cool. This multiplicity <laughs> one is so cool, too. The students don't know the association between the multiplicity of the zero and the denominator of a rational function and, and the behavior of the graph near that vertical asymptote. So this is not kind of a fixed uh, rational function. Students should know that x equals 1 and x equals negative 2 are going to be vertical asymptotes. And all we're trying to do is figure out the role that these exponents 2 play in the mm -hmm. behavior of the function. And so here, when I change, let me, let me do this, it's probably easier. When I make a equal to 1 and b equal to 2, you can see that how the functional form changes to x minus 1 to the first power and then x plus 2 to the second. Mm -hmm x plus 2 leads to this vertical asymptote, x equals negative 2, and we're going, uh, the graph is approaching the vertical asymptote in the same direction from both sides, whereas when it's the odd exponent, it goes in opposite directions. And they'll always see that same direction. Now it's different directions mm -hmm. when I make both of the exponents odd. 
So it's just a nice little feature to figure out that doesn't take long if you use this applet. As you can see, there's a lot to be excited about with the Sullivan Precalculus Series 11th edition revision. For more information, contact your sales rep.